Hi guys, Dhanesh here and today we'll learn a really simple trick to come up with very creative sounding chords. Now this trick will help you with multiple things. One, it will help you to learn your fretboard better if you're not aware of where the notes are. Two, it will help you improve your musical knowledge. Three, it will help you come up with very creative sounding chords that connect well together and sound really smooth when you put them together in chord progressions. Four, this will help you to break out of your usual open chord shapes if you're a beginner to intermediate player and feel stuck that you're playing the same chords over and over again, then this will be a real breather for you, a real getaway from that boring type of playing. And five and most important is that this will sound really good and will be a lot of fun for you to practice. This will work really well for both acoustic and electric and whatever genre you play, you can experiment with it. And I promise you, you're going to enjoy what you come up with. So the trick is quite simple. We are going to pick a key that will contain these top two strings as notes within that scale. That is the note B and E. Now most of our guitar friendly keys like C major, A minor, G major, E minor, D major, A major, B minor, all these keys have these two notes in common. Once you have chosen the key, you're going to find the notes of that scale on the third string, which is your G string. Let's take A minor for an example. So on the G string, the notes of A minor are going to be on the second fret, the fourth fret, the fifth fret, 7th fret, 9th fret, 10th fret, 12th fret and 14th fret. Now you can choose how to play the notes, you can strum the notes, you can do quarter note strums or simple strumming patterns, whatever you like. I'm going to finger pick the notes for this lesson. Now if you're a beginner, you're going to choose the bass note on one of the bottom three strings, E string, A string or D string. Now for A minor, it is highly convenient. We can choose our bass note as the fifth string, which has A on it. Now we'll just move along the fretboard, playing the notes from the key of A minor on the third string while playing the top two strings open. And as I said, I'll be finger picking. You can choose how to play them. And at the same time, we'll play this bass note, which is our fifth string. And we can come up with some lines like this. You can try this with any of the other keys that we spoke about and you're going to find some amazing chords happening, some amazing lines happening. Even if you're an absolute beginner, you should be able to do this. Now, if you're an intermediate to advanced player and you want to come up with some more creative lines, then I would recommend that you find the notes of that same scale on one of these bass strings, string number six, five or four. Preferably the sixth string is the best one and then combine them along with these notes on the third string while playing the two open strings at the top. And here's how you can come up with some really creative lines. I'm doing it in the key of E major. Here's an example in the key of E minor.
as you see you can come up with endless ideas and never get bored of doing this on the instrument i hope you had fun learning that experiment with it take it to other keys that we spoke about and you're going to have a lot of fun not only practicing this but in the process you will also learn your fretboard really well if you like these lessons then please subscribe to the channel check out the short electric guitar lessons that i'm doing on the channel as well you're going to enjoy it if you're an electric guitar player have fun learning i'll see you next time